There's no doubt that the Sims franchise, Sims 4 in particular, has tons of complaints about performance and bugs, but it's becoming increasingly clear that it is a big challenge to actually be a competitor. After all, now we have yet another new development from Life by You, and this big announcement could spell warning signs. Now, Life by You, which is an upcoming Sims game from Paradox, has already suffered from complaints from graphics and animations, and now we're getting yet another delay for early access. Posted on May 20th, we got this simple tweet and update on Life by You early access release date. And apologies as the text is a little bit hard to read here, but in short it says, Greetings everyone, we have a statement from the deputy CEO about Life by You. After much consideration, we regret to announce that we have decided to retract Life by You's early access release date, previously set for June 4th. This was not an easy decision, especially as we understand the anticipation that many players have for this game. However, we believe that the additional development time is needed. While we would have preferred to commit to a new release window, we believe it is more prudent to hold off as we plan ahead. We will provide more information as soon as possible. Now, this is kind of unexpected since it was June 4th that Early Access was going to release, so they were cutting it pretty close. As you can imagine, there's a variety of reactions already. Seriously, again, I don't mean to be rude, but this is the third time you delayed it. This is not good at all. I'm losing my interest. However, this person said, honestly, after all the broken hyped up games being released, I'm actually happy to read this. Shows the company actually cares about the customer experience and product. This person offered advice that you should work on optimizing the game so it can run at over 60 frames per second. Redo the character appearances because they're still ugly AF and work on improving animations because they're all stiff. Also, they mentioned some complaints about the system requirements to only run at 30 frames per second. Yes, I have lots of mixed emotions about this. When the first time it happened, early access was delayed. I said, actually, I think this is a positive thing. It shows they care about the quality of their product. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's been enough movement in improving this game. And yes, I I don't think it needs to be perfect for early access, and we can have a debate about that in the comments, a respectful one. On the other hand, I'm getting pretty worried. So this time, we're not even getting an update about when the next early access could be. I just think it's getting kind of bad and problematic in terms of continuously delaying this. Sure, on one hand, I definitely don't want them to rush it, so I don't want to encourage rush games ever. In fact, I see all the time people saying Project Renee should hurry up and release, and I'm like, let's not do that. On the other hand, deciding to continuously push an early access release date that is not realistic and really still not seeing the movement a lot of fans want to see honestly makes me very worried for Life by You, and I get no pleasure in saying that. When Life by You was first announced, I really wanted it to do well, and I'm not saying it still can't do well, but gosh, things need to change in terms of communications, and maybe Paradox will realize that they need more help on board. My theory is they need more help in character art and animations in particular, and even though they have some great minds behind the gameplay, they are not getting the ample support they need. This is all just speculation and from observations on release videos, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you support this additional early access release date being pushed back, and do you think this game is ever going to launch? As always, please take care, and I'll see you in the next one.